The scoop. The scoop. Mm, don't, don't. Is it in? Uh huh. Oh. This is very exciting. <laughs> By the way, got an A. <laughs> I got an A. I love yours. Caden is flying the flag. Look, it is intense. Okay, so this is the deal. So I'm on hold, so I have to listen and talk at the same time, which is very difficult. Um, all right, so Ryan has an orthodontist appointment that's scheduled for Wednesday to get his Invisalign in. He's got an orthopedic, it's like a big deal. It's a big appointment. Well, we wanna go skiing, and really this doesn't happen very often, snow. So we're thinking, like, we're gonna take advantage of it. So Wednesday, I called this morning to see if we could move Ryan's dentist appointment. So it would move to the end of the month, which is like, like three or four weeks away, which stinks. So I said, hey, you know, if you have anything available today, because it's a snow day, maybe people have canceled, give me a call. Well, they said, okay, we'll do that. And then I put the phone down, then I went to brush my teeth, and then I came back and they had called twice. My phone ringer wasn't on. So I'm like, oh. So I'm calling him back to see if I can still get that appointment. So how are we going to get there? We can't get up the hill. I know. This is the thing, it's all guys. Icy. We live. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. I'm calling because uh, this is Jill Donnelly, and Ryan had an appointment on Wednesday, and I had to call and cancel it, but I told him that we could come today if you guys said want to open up, and then I, I immediately got two phone calls back. But my ringer was off. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys were calling me for that reason. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. We can do 11.30. They can do 11.30. Uh, I'm so excited. So, okay. So Ryan's going to have an 11.30 appointment today. Now this is the quandary. It's not really a quandary. It's more of a challenge. Okay. So we, our, our house is at the bottom of a fairly large hill. Like literally at the bottom of a fairly large hill. When it snows, it's okay. But when it gets icy, it's not okay. Oh, there goes Mike. Uh-oh. Like, Whoa. Look at the ice on the ground. So that is on the road, so we can't drive. So there's our cars over there. We oh my gosh. Look at the ice on the ground. So we can't drive up the hill. Oh my gosh. To get to the dentist. So we're going to have to walk. Oh. So we're going to have to leave here. The appointment's at 1130. We should leave here maybe around 1045. How are we going to walk up the hill like this? I don't know. Oh. Honestly, like we've had trouble before coming down there. Normally in situations like this, we park the car at the top of the hill so we can like walk to the to the top of the hill and have the car and be mobile up there yeah we did not do that yesterday because it was just snowing and snowing we knew it was going to be sleeting but it just didn't had happened yet and i'm like oh we'll do it. we'll move the car up later and we never did and now it's literally like a sheet of ice all right well we gotta get ryan out we gotta wake up ryan trip. his emergency trip we'll have him eat some food because when he first puts his invisalign and in, they might it might be it might hurt him. oh so we'll have him eat food now great and okay. he should floss too yes he should yes he should oh this is very exciting <laughs> ryan, 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 ryan. Oh. Early right now, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I'm just in my jammies. Like a, hey, Ryan, you gotta wake up. Guess what? I have good news. Can you hear me? <laughs> All right, I have good news. You get your Invisalign today. Oh, for free? Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. But this is the deal it's very, very icy outside, so we have to walk there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. It's nice and crisp outside. Yeah, and we'll get to be in the That's snow. Bike. Can you bike? Yeah. You get a bike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bike to CVS all the time. But well, yeah, but so you're not. not much farther. You can, but the thing is, is that I can't bike, so you have to bike yeah, by you yourself. I'll, I'll, you can come sit on this. <laughs> I can sit on the handlebars. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. should be fun. You can come on my back. <laughs> But listen, so this is the deal. We have to leave in like 45 minutes. So why don't you wake up now so I can make you breakfast? We can eat breakfast together. You can flush your teeth. Get a good breakfast in your belly. Because remember, remember last time when I told you to get a good breakfast in your belly because you were getting your um your thing and then you threw up? Yeah. It's not going to be like that. That was terrible. You, was so you were like, okay, that so that, like, that appointment specifically is like, it made you gag. Like, oh, oh, oh. Like, they did that impression thing, uh -huh. and you you were like you fed me like eggs and 
Oh gosh. Like oh, you gosh. gave me the best breakfast. Oh gosh. And I I couldn't I digest it. I knew and it was like it was like I was I was like eating out the door. <laughs> And then, oh, then you oh, in oh, a minute later, they were like, okay, we're just going to stick this really far back in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was Gross. Terrible. All right, get up. We got to go. Okay, here we go. What time is the appointment? 11.30. Brian, you ready to go? Yeah. I, it's been a while. It's been a long time in the making. Are you nervous? No. Hey, smile, smile, smile so we can get it before yeah, after. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, good luck, you guys. Let's uh, see if we can get up the hill. Thank you. I know. I actually am a little bit nervous about that. Yep. Uh, so we have to be there in how many? In 30 minutes. And it's a couple miles away, so good luck, you guys. <laughs> it's, it's more vertical <laughs> than it is horizontal. Exactly, exactly. All right, good luck. All right, thank you. Bundle up. There we go. You should probably go over the downstairs. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Careful. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna make it much easier. Let me take a look. All right, show me what you got there, buddy. Uh, can you see them? <laughs> I can. Let me see the bottom ones. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. So you learned how to put them in and everything? Yeah. <laughs> they, they gave me the full scoop. <laughs> they did? The, the full what? Uh, I know. They, I know what they gave me the full what? what? The scoop. The scoop? Mm, don't. don't. <laughs> it will get easier, I promise you. Kind of in for 20 seconds, so don't push it. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks, right. Angela. Thanks, Dr. Bolton. Oh, Couple more easier. things to go over. Oh, little yes. goodies. This is extra case for you. Perfect. Okay, this uh -huh. is your nighttime toothpaste. In the morning or afternoon, you can use whatever uh -huh. kind of toothpaste you normally use. Uh -huh. um, this is a sample of retainer cleaner, so you can soak them in there once a week or Perfect. if you want. But as long as you're scrubbing them with toothpaste and toothbrush. Uh huh. How's it feel? Pretty good. Yeah? I feel like I'm gonna, like, that's not my words. It's gonna be really embarrassing. Well, you know what? Remember when you first got your space maintainer? Yeah. Or smile, I'm smile straight improver. Up, straight up, could not talk. <laughs> yeah, so you'll get used to it totally. I mean, Brennan got used to it in like two days. You know what I mean? Remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So does it hurt? No. Okay. Nope. It just feels like there's a little bit of pressure on like my two front teeth. Oh yeah, yeah. And do they tell you how long you're gonna have them? Uh, no, but I know you switch them out every two weeks. I think. Okay. Oh, a week, a week, every week. Every week. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys. See if we make it home now. <laughs> All right. We've already run into our first issue. I know it's Ryan, every two weeks. Ryan said you switch them out every week or every two weeks. I'm not sure. Well, you have to know that. That's kind of an important thing. Well, All right. Well, we'll find out for sure whether or not it's every one week or two weeks. Yeah. Okay. And we'll try to make it home. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Okay. I put pineapple in my shakes every morning. Mm-hmm. And... So, oh my gosh, why isn't that cutting? So I have to freeze it, mm -hmm. you know, in order to like, put it in my shakes and it like tastes way better and it's just like easier to store when it's frozen right. and it lasts longer. Yeah. Anyways, so in biology, I'm an AP biology by the way, got an A, <laughs> I got an A. I love your Anyways, so pretty much I want the pineapple to last as long as possible in the freezer mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, while like maintaining its taste, you know, and yeah. color and texture. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we learned a lot about enzymes and their reactions in biology last quarter. Mm -hmm. So pretty much there's like in apples and in pineapples and like most fruits, right. there's an enzyme that reacts when it like is exposed to oxygen. Mm -hmm. 
like apples, for example. You know how apples turn brown? Yes. Like after you cut them and they've been out for a little bit? Yes. That is because the enzyme reacts with oxygen and then it starts to like make the apple just look like that or whatever. Yeah, brown. Yeah. Ah! So the reason why people put pineapple, or not pineapple juice, lemon juice on their apples is because the lemon juice has, like, it's way more acidic than the optimal acid level of the enzymes in the apple. Yeah. So the acid from the lemon kills that enzyme that when exposed to oxygen makes the apples brown oh, and cool. squishy. Yeah. And then they don't get brown and squishy, which is like why people put lemon juice on them. Anyways, so it's kind of the same with pineapple, except instead of using acid to denature the enzymes, because mm -hmm. it's already pretty acidic. Um, instead of using acid, I'm just gonna use temperature. So acidity and temperature are two of the main like things that have to be, um, like for enzymes to survive in a good environment, they have to be at a good acid level and at a good temperature. Yes. And so instead of using acidity, I'm just gonna boil them. Uh -huh. So when you boil the pineapple trunks, it kills the enzyme that causes them to like lose their flavor and texture and like color. Yes. So I'm just gonna boil them and then they'll be nice and fresh right here. Mm -hmm. Drop some pineapples in like there. A lobster. Nope. Exactly. And they don't need to be in there long, just mm -hmm. long enough to be, like, touch the boiling water, uh -huh. you know? Submerged. Oh, seriously? They're done now? Yeah. All right, I'm keep running, going. I'm running out of water. Uh, call me when um, you're finished with the um, the process. Okay. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? I missed that. Out driveways are just as slippery as roads. <laughs> yeah. They're made out of the I same know. stuff. Looks like we're still here for this. <laughs> this is our destiny right here. I could get up well the other way, but okay. Yeah, try to just yeah. Good, 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 good. Wow. We have this bag. Okay. Which has been in the freezer for a little bit longer. But okay. then we have this bag, which I just finished. It's still warm. But oh, smokes. look how vibrant the colors yes, are. Yes, agreed. <laughs> agreed. Cool, right? That's very cool. How long will that last, do you think? Um, I don't know. It depends on how many shakes I drink because, um, like, if I want to eat, like, a bagel plus a shake, then I'll make one of the really small shakes, like, the smallest one. Mm -hmm. But if not, if I make a big one, I use, like, like 10 to 12 pieces oh of pineapple. Oh, my gosh. So it's, like, it kind of, like, depends. Right. It doesn't mm -hmm. that much. Uh-huh. Oh! Hey! Mr. Hey! hey! We're going back in time! Should we cancel out if we film it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just discussed how I blanched my, um... Nice job, Kate! Pineapples in order to keep them fresh. That's fantastic. Brian, how'd you do? Pretty well. Let me see. Josh? Is it in? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You look great! Congrats! Brian, do you talk with a list? A little bit. I'll get used to it. Congratulations. Good job. Glad that got done, huh? Yes. Now we're going skiing. That's Woo! my next, my next like action. Boom. Skiing. Fired up. Yeah, well, All right. Cool. Yay. Brendan's home. Brendan's home. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Good day of work. You must be exhausted. A little pretty tired. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Hi, baby girl. There's KT. Hi, Lovey. We need to walk. <laughs> yeah. All the way down the hill. I can't even do one of those, like, half down the hill things because Kate's car is, like... Yeah. Little teeny tiny. Yeah. Got it. All right. This looks intense. It is intense. Can you guys take a break for a minute? No. All right. We're going to start We're gonna start serving dinner. Are you okay with that? Uh, wait, 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 wait. All right, Ben. We'll see you guys later. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Caden is flying the flag. Look at him. I love it. We had a little merch drop. Well, merch drop. Not even a merch drop. Caden yeah. um, only merch drop. Exactly. Exactly. Are right, you guys ready? We're going to go up and start eating, okay? All right. Who gets winner? Caden, you or me? The guy uh, who makes his own rules. Is it? Who's in a... I guess there's no lead. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, yeah. yeah. I guess Ryan, I'll Ryan, Mr. Chester. You'll take winner? Yeah. All right. You take I'm winner. Just slump it. 
in. She sits in the weirdest position. She's just time. always so comfortable, though. Like, she gets she in is. these, like, crazy comfortable positions. Hi, sweet she girl. She looks like a human. I know she does. She is. She's like a little human. I love her so much. All right, Katie, Kate, what made you happy today, baby girl? Hanging out with my friends was really fun. And then hanging out with my family after that. Today was a good day. It was a good day. Lots of laughs. Yes. Jokes. Kaden, what made you happy today? Um, the Monday off school made me happy. Yeah, that's nice. Like an yeah, extra that's day. No school today. That's right. No school. How about you, Ryan? What made you happy today? Uh, getting my Invisalign. Yeah. Getting my Invisalign. I watched half of Hearts of the Caribbean at World's End because I didn't get to finish the whole thing. And then I watched two episodes of The Queen's Gambit. Sounds like and you had a pretty some, good day. I had some fire dinner, so. And you tried to go ski or uh, sledding, but when you got there, yeah. everybody had already gone, which yeah. is a bummer. Because oh, I, I was, like, super late. Hey, Brennan. What made you happy today, baby doll? Happy? Yeah. Second place in Domino's. Oh, yeah. Mexican train. Good job. Yes, made you happy today, well, baby John? Well, thank you for asking. What You're made me welcome. happy today was our walk up to... Uh, up oh, to yeah. the dentist. That was nice. That was nice. It's a very nice walk. Yeah. Although quite dangerous, but still very good. Yes. Good healthy walk, I should say. A healthy walk. And what made me happy today was also doing our walk up to the dentist was awesome. Ryan getting his Invisalign was cool. I loved having our family dinner and family games. I think that's what makes me most happy is when we can do things as a family. So looking forward to another family day tomorrow. And then I cannot wait till Wednesday when we go skiing. Yay. So you guys comment below what made you guys happy today. We hope you had a wonderful day. And if you're getting snow in your area, enjoy. Stay safe, stay warm, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.